Hello, interweb. Um, sorry about the absence of videos. Um, I've been very busy, track practice started, and I'm not sure whether this is going to be a vlog or a how to see it, um, but this is kind of going to be a rant video about things that I hate. If you disagree with me, I don't care, but you can leave a comment below if you would like. Tell me your side of it, eh? But I should have a word of the week up today, it's two, no, Wednesday, it's Wednesday, I'm two days late, I'm sorry. Uh, I should have that video up, and I should have another video up, I'll probably upload it tomorrow morning just to space out my videos a little bit, but, anyway, things that I hate. Let's start off with the one that I talk about the most, and I complain to the most people about, and that is pop music. Pop music absolutely, positively sucks. I hate music that does not use real instruments, such as, oh, I don't know, certain bands that are becoming famous nowadays that are bands, or artists that just make all of their music with, you know, a computer. And auto-tune. I hate auto-tune. It's so stupid because anyone can sing. I could take a computer and go wail some stupid shit into it, and I could make it sound like I can sing, even though I can't. I'm a terrible singer. I'm sorry. You know what else I hate? The news. Because the news is when you sit down, they tell you good evening, and then they proceed to tell you why it's not a good evening. And that just bugs the shit out of me. They should say, well... Today's been a really shitty day, so if you don't want to go to bed depressed, go to bed now and turn off the damn news. But they don't do that. They say good evening, and then they tell you why it's not. Another thing I hate about society right now is stereotypes. Apparently my entire generation is stereotyped as people who drop their pants low, swag, YOLO, snapbacks, boom, yeah, we're losing our intelligence, and that pisses me off. That brings me to another thing. Texting language. I absolutely positively despise texting language. LOL, OMG, TBH, LMS, GTG, BRB. What the hell, America? First world problems here. Cell phones. Why? Why can't people just take the extra effort to type out the actual words? They would be a little bit smarter, and so would the people that they were texting. It bugs me when people use abbreviations like that, because sometimes people don't even know what they mean, because they're too unintelligent to figure it out, because they've been using stupid abbreviations for all of their life. And that pisses me off, because people are getting, you know, less and less fluent in English. There's people in my English class that can't read a complete sentence without pausing and trying to figure out how to pronounce a word. There are people that can't figure out how to say words unless they sit there and sound them out to themselves. And that is texting's fault. It, we're not getting stupider. Texting is making us stupider. And that brings me to another thing, the internet. I love the internet, but I also hate it because it is full of useless lies. I mean, seriously, people post the most useless stuff on the internet, on Facebook. Like, we don't give a shit what you're eating. Please. And I know I can't say that because I do Twitter and I post random shit, but that's what Twitter was designed for, was to update people on the minutest details of your life. You just send a little tiny little message that tells you what you're doing at that very moment. But Facebook, that's like your life. They made it a timeline. But people post the stupidest shit on there. And Twitter, I think, is great for interacting with audiences because you can post things and, you know, people can reply and things like that. You can have conversations. But I don't think that that's what Facebook is for, so Facebook pisses me off. And there's so many other websites. Wikipedia was good when it first came out, but it sucks because you don't know if it's true. And that's another thing. You have so much trouble finding websites that don't give you viruses. I mean... Porn sites are going to give you viruses, but even normal websites, Lego websites, religious websites, all of them can give you some sort of virus, and I can almost guarantee you that everything except professionally or personally owned blog sites will have ads on them. Unless you have a lot of money to pay off the ad people, you're going to have ads, and those ads piss me off and get in my way. YouTube, before videos, ads, I get it, you're making money, that's cool. I want to see the video. I don't care about the ads. That's why I go on there. Now, I guess I can't say that because I think it would be awesome to make money on YouTube, but just make videos for the fun of it. That's kind of why YouTube was invented, was so that people can share things. I bet you when YouTube came out way back in, whenever it came out, that they hadn't intended it to be some sort of big, huge, money-making company. But that's what it came to be. People are out there trying to make money on YouTube. And that's cool. And I know a bunch of haters are going to go, then why are you making videos? Because you just want money. I'm making videos because I have fun making videos. And that 
is why. Sure, money is a great bonus. I have a monetized account. That's cool. I don't expect to make anything because I'm just making videos for the hell of it. People who get subscribers and get a lot of views, I understand it. They're doing something they like. Why not make money for it? That's cool. But the internet pisses me off. And that brings me to another thing. We don't read. Like I mentioned earlier, texting is killing our vocabulary, but so is not reading. I feel like I'm the only person around here at my school that actually reads. I know that's an over-exaggeration because there's a lot of people that read, but still, there's a lot of people that don't, and they're just using the internet to find all of their information. Books are here for a reason. Imagine how your parents felt. They didn't have the internet in school. They had to use books for all of their research. They couldn't just go on Google and type in, what is the square root of pie or some shit. They had to go take a book or take a slide rule. I have one of those. I know how to use it. Ah, I hate society. Oh. Another thing that I hate is parental control. Now, parents have always had controls over the children, but back when, you know, you watch those old movies, boys in the summer, they would just go off and be on their own and hang out with their friends for a week at a time or something like that. Nowadays, parents care even less than they did back then. Or they care too much. They either care so much that they don't ever let you leave your house and they shelter you, or they don't care enough and they'll let you go out and smoke weed and get drunk and have sex with your friends. And that is stupid. Parents, listen to me. Get it through your head that you need to keep track of your children. But don't be controlling either. Let them go out with your friends. Just make sure they're good friends. That's another thing. People are fake. Makeup, Botox, plastic surgery, hair dye, all that shit. People are so fake. And then they act fake too. They act completely different than they really are just so they can become friends with someone. And that pisses me off. They also make fun of other people because of how they look when they're freaking... They make fun of people because they're ugly. And they would be ugly if they weren't wearing six million pounds of fucking makeup on their face. I could go on. Bye, interweb.